We have to study the transmission of the field. Yeah. Yeah. And especially communicable disease. So first of all, if you see the transmission will occur between the pathogens and animals. So direct contact, yeah. you know very well, first is always the direct contact is the method by which the disease, communicable disease can spread. Understood, Buddha? This one. Yeah, understood. The transmission of communicable disease. How do they transmit? I think so. Number first is always if you see two methods can be there: direct contact, yeah, direct contact, or indirect contact. And you are giving me example vector, na? Yeah. That is indirect contact. Indirect. Okay. Ah, uh, here we use vector for indirect contact. For direct contact, actual may see one thing. Means it will be through direct contact or through inoculation or through ingestion. I'll give you an idea. See one thing, beta. For direct contact means you can say ingestion. One example I'll give you. Have you heard about food poisoning? Yeah, food poisoning. Yeah, I've heard. yeah, food poisoning. It means you have consumed the contaminated food. So you have consumed means ingestion you have done. Are you understanding me? Yeah. So because of the ingestion, the disease can pass example is the you can say cholera disease all these things which are waterborne disease so these are the one which are transmitting because of the ingestion so you can see here amoebic dysentery diarrhea disease these are the one which is passing because you have not washed the hand properly so that is oh, okay. ingestion it is going so cholera can go amoebic dysentery can enter so these are the few diseases which can pass because of the unhygienic conditions. Okay, yeah. Okay, so first is ingestion. Then inoculation means with one thing, once which is entering inside the body, see inoculation. If you see HIV virus is entering through the sexually transmitted disease, you know very well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that HIV virus, you can say it is passing through the uh, uses of the body fluids also. When the two body fluids are coming in contact through the blood also, it is passing it. And if you know uh, rabies, have you heard about Yeah, uh, yeah is that through animals, right? If you get bitten by an animal. Yes, yes, yes. So these are the one which is passing. So see here, they have given it by the animal bite, for example, rabies or through STD that is HIV. So I think so this much is clear that direct, trans yeah. direct transmission is I'll explain you. One is through direct contact, second is inoculation, third is ingestion. I explain you ingestion first example is dysentery because you, for example, we have not washed the hand properly so it will be transferred. Second is it is entering through the wound in our body. Inoculation yeah. is entering through the wound. And uh, tell me the fungal disease. The fungal disease would that be um um if it will be direct, right? So if we um fungal disease like athlete fruits or ring worm. Okay. Oh yeah, that's fung uh, that's direct contact. Yes, yes, yes. Athlete foot uh, or ring worm, you can say these are the yeah. can pass through direct contact. So tell me one thing. Transmission of communicable disease, direct communication, I think so this much is clear to you? Yeah, it's clear. Just give yourself one minute and please learn. Okay. Uh, transmission is through direct contact. Exam better, best way to learn, remember example. Okay. Yeah. If you remember example, you can easily manage. Inoculation, HIV, rabies. Ingestion, amoebic dysentery, diarrhea. Okay, yeah. Learned better? Yeah. Now see, indirect. So vector. One is vector and second, you know, I think so droplet. Have you heard about droplet infection? No, I haven't. Right now see, beta. Coronavirus, what we say, why do we, we ask the people to wear mask? 
because if they oh, are okay, yeah. or if they are coughing then uh, uh, as a result droplets will be there and the this virus can spread through droplets also which can spread yeah. to another place by air okay beta yeah yeah and sometimes what happen the person who is suffering from the disease na if you share the towels or you share the bed or you share the clothes so these are the one which are actual me responsible for spreading the disease also oh okay so see one thing one is your formites means like you are sharing the bed you are sharing the soap or cosmetics can transfer your athlete foot disease if you remember yeah, okay. you staphylococcus is hospital born infection yeah so yeah remember beta yeah yeah i remember yeah ah uh, and through droplet i think so influenza tuberculosis you can add right now covid 19 also you can add who ah, okay. is also beta who is telling please wear the mask because it is droplet born infection also means it is not this ki when yeah, okay. anything then only you get the virus sometimes uh, the person who is suffering he has done the sneezing or he has done the coughing then it can remain in the air in the on the top of droplet and it can pass to you okay vector beta can you tell me the example of vector yeah is it like um mosquitoes right yes, so yeah yes, as, yes. yeah tell me malaria Sleep. transmitted by which vector a uh, malaria isn't that by mosquitoes uh malaria is by yeah. mosquitoes yes which mosquito remember or forgot or oh, plasmodium is it called on oh, no. a agent is plasmodium but mosquito yeah agent is uh, female and a please oh it's by the female ones yeah because uh, they need it for their yes for yes yeah the babies yeah yeah and uh, tell me one thing plague have you heard about plague Oh, the like, yeah, the plague, yeah. Now tell me, how does it spread, Peter? Um, does it spread through like um, direct contact? So, no, no, no. oh no, it's through rats, right? Yes. So, it, rat, rat, rat. In, yeah. so see one thing: this rat has died. Yeah. And uh, on this rat, you are finding small, small insects are there. Okay. Do you have to touch the rat to get infected, or you just need no, to be no, a no, sort of... insects? But are these insects not? They are rat flea. Oh, okay. these are the insects i'm using this yeah. calamitosium this is a rat which is died okay okay i've drawn the laugh with my diagram you can understand this is the rat which is died don't think it is a fish diagram okay this is a yeah. rat. Okay. and it has died and these are the red flea so red flea is burning on this it is born here it is there and suppose this is now human i should draw the human different then this is human and it will go and cause the infection this flea will bite the human also and as a result human will get the infection so who is transmitting okay. the from the dead rat to human rat flea mm. yeah rat flea okay they are transmitting the disease from the dead rat to the human is it clear beta yeah yeah it's clear yeah so tell me one thing till now tell now beta revise in the short fast okay direct transmission three methods in direct transmission also three methods okay should i make a note so it is clear now yeah is it fine if you can make a note cuz i'm trying to write down as well okay i'll make for you write down then just a sec i need it sometimes system hang also direct transmission indirect transmission what indirect transmission number 1 direct contact right this way okay beta yeah
Example you write here, athlete food, means fungus infection. Right. Write in the bracket fungus, it will be easy. Yeah, right. Yeah. Then second, you write inoculation. And inoculation, you write an example, HIV. Third, you write ingestion. Ingestion example, you write diarrhea. Only simple example, na, then you can elaborate. Better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and here you write fomites. And do one thing in the bracket, you write a sharing clothes. Sharing clothes. And uh, example again, it is uh, athlete foot only. And uh, second, you can write as a vector. So in the vector, you write malaria and plague. Yeah, okay. Third, let me drop letters. Third is droplet infection. In the droplet infection, write this way example for tuberculosis. So these are the ones by which your disease can be transmitted. This is a mind map for you. I think so it will be helpful for you to learn. Okay. Once completed, then let me know with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just writing it down. Uh, not a problem. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now this much is clear to you, huh? Right? Yeah, it's clear. Yeah. Now see how the transmission between animals and human is occurring. Animals. Tell me one okay. influenza. You remember influenza? Um. Yeah. Swine flu, bird flu. Yes. Ah, the bird flu strain is H one N one. Then is brucellosis, yeah, yeah. which is passed from sheep to people. So okay. that's not the way they can disease can be passed. Uh, what does the, the sheep one do, the brucellosis? Brucellosis is actually passing from sheep to the human only. Oh, okay. From sheep to the people, because these are the diseases which are passing from the animals to human. Okay, from yeah, okay. animals to human. Okay, you yeah. Write this way, I'll tell you, you should write this way. Disease transmitting from animal to human. Okay. Means earlier the animals were suffering, now human is suffering. Yeah. Uh, the number one is you can write influenza. Okay. Influenza. influenza. Where does it come from? Influenza. So who? It is first to it better see first it was observed in the bird and in the oh yeah in the bird. Uh, swine pig. Oh yeah, yeah. Pig. Uh, the bird flu means it is transmitting from bird. So you can write one strain. Sorry. H1 N1, I think so. I told you what does it mean? These are the two types of glycoprotein. Yeah. Hemoagglutinin and neurafinidase. So influenza, okay. and then second, you can write brucellosis. It is from sheep yeah. to human. Only this much is there in that paragraph. Nothing is there. Okay, Buta? Yeah, okay. Can I go back? Uh, I just need to copy it. I'm nearly done. Yeah, done. Okay, but yeah. now see question is asking ki, what are the factors why the disease is spreading so fast? What are the factors which are responsible for the transmission of communicable disease? I think so first is overcrowding area. Yeah, overcrowding, yeah. Logic, nutrition is poor. They are having yeah. very poor disposal of the waste also. 
okay and uh, see one thing beta i'll tell you one thing have you heard about uh, transplant in the organs have you heard about that graft um no person who is not a working his kidney is not working properly so he take kidney from another person have you heard about it or not no i haven't oh is it when the kidney is not working you just get a transplant yes 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 we okay. say we are taking graft so graft oh okay. uh, graft means any organ taken from the donor i will not say kidney i have taken i, have, I will say my language medically language will be i am taking this graft yeah okay so now tell me one thing meta hanin just tell me logically anything which is coming to our body from another person body i think so our yeah. body will identify it as foreign or not yeah it will be foreign because it's come it's not from our body itself yes so yeah so our body will produce antibodies or not yeah you put it anti body yes this much you know very well so tell me one thing and i that person requires kidney he cannot survive so i think so i should give him immunosuppressive drug or not yeah, yeah. so, so with that um can you know the body can that also reject the donor ha uh, the body can reject this chance yeah that's right yeah yeah so we don't want rejection you know one thing beta we don't want rejection we have to prevent the rejection so to prevent oh, okay. rejection to prevent rejection you have asked right to prevent rejection of the graft immunosuppressive yeah. drug is provided understanding beta yeah yeah understanding yeah so i don't want the graft to be rejected so i have to suppress my immune system and tell me logically beta if i am suppressing the immune system it means hiv virus can enjoy there or not yeah yeah that is a main thing so in such case person can become susceptible to hiv virus or not susceptible you know beta what does it mean um no it catches the infection soon the person can become susceptible very soon for hiv tell me this is clear to you or not um okay. if any confusion then i'll explain once again don't worry yeah can you explain the blue line again acha tell the me one thing in hiv virus i told you what does hiv virus do um would it um trying to think trying to remember hiv virus yeah um destroy our t helper cell oh yeah it destroys the t uh, helper which it, it doesn't allow it to send the messages to the yeah okay. when t helper yeah, cell is not yeah. there your b cell and that other cells will not work they are waiting no boss to so who will give instruction yeah hiv virus destroy which cell the t helper cell and i think so these are our immune cell yeah okay so when I, already i have made the immune suppression so i think so the hiv virus will be very easy for the virus to enter or not yeah any doubt then ask i'll again explain no i understand it now yeah it's can clear you explain what you have understood um so we can we very very soon never to mm, wait i'm trying to remember what uh, the... oh so do you give them the pill is it like a drug do you give them do you like we give them um, the suppressive drug yes we give them yeah, um, taking drug what, what is that for again is it just to um to uh, make the body accept the donor or 
body will accept the graft our purpose is the body should accept the graft oh, the gra okay yeah so the body accept are you understanding mm -hmm. or not uh kind of yeah i understand the first bit see one it's just the second i'll again explain you don't worry okay you try to see me and try to understand see yeah i told you he this is t helper cell yeah i am the boss i am t helper cell i will give command this side or i will give command this side yeah okay. i will give command two side either you work or either you work yeah but hiv virus is killing me only so i am when dead person what will i do oh yeah you can't do anything i can't do anything yeah now if suppose i am giving a graft to any person i am giving kidney to another person okay so i don't want that person immune system should be active i want that his t helper cell should suppress oh okay yeah you want to suppress the so i am giving immunosuppressive drug to that person already oh so what does that do with that um bring back the t helper cells or just um, allow uh nahi that uh, t helper cell will be already decreased gone. that medicine okay. is decreasing t helper cell oh okay Are you yeah. understanding me? Decreasing. Mm. And then just try to simple with yeah. it. Only okay. simple. Don't uh, take any stress in understanding. Okay. Try to be very simple. I'm first of all tell me one thing. When I'm giving graft to one person, yeah, I don't want that immune system should be active. It means I don't want T helper cell to be active. Yeah, you don't want it. Okay. I don't want him to be active. He should be suppressed. Yeah. Okay. And this fellow is also going and suppressing him only. Yeah. So it's also. But I think so. It is good for the HIV virus. Yeah, it's good for the HIV because ah, it, it's trying to destroy the HIV virus. Yes. Yes. Okay. Body is good for HIV virus. Body is. Yeah. Good okay. Enjoy. I see now. HIV virus yeah. is enjoying okay. now. Do one thing. Mm -hmm. Just read this third point. Yeah. Including. Uh, or needing. Immune suppression drugs of the transport surgeon. Yeah, I read it. Yeah. Easy. So yeah, so in so the immune suppression, it does it decrease the T helpers, the T helpers, right? Yes, immune suppression. Yeah, so, which is good for the, yeah, for the HIV virus is also enjoyed. Yeah. He wants that only work. His work is already over. So this much is clear. Yeah. Okay. So question is, ki if suppose I ask you, what are the factors? What are the factors which are which causes the spread of communicable disease? Spread of communicable disease. So I think so. Yeah. First of all, you will say crowded condition. Yeah, crowded. I'm writing a notes for you so that it will be easy for you. Number one, crowd condition. Number okay. two, unhygienic. Hygienic. Because athlete food is because of the bed sheet or you are using. Yeah, the chair. it's also like using different people's socks, right? Or like yes, not changing. Yes. Yeah. So it is the people who use it. That means unhygienic person. Oh, okay. Then uh, graft. Take oh, yeah. Okay, uh, elaboration you can do. I think so. This point is easy for you. Yeah. Then I think so. Climate also plays a role. Climate. Okay. Because mosquitoes breed in the rainy season more where the water is stagnant. Yeah. Okay. Understood, Peter? Yeah. Mosquito breeding will be more in the stagnant water. And that also they will do in the rainy season more. Okay. Clear? Yeah, clear. and you can say some social factors are also there uh, social factors like we don't have a manpower and uh, oh, okay. trained uh, 
medical staff is not there oh okay yes train medical staff is medical staff. lacking means we don't have trained medical staff properly so that is a problem so these are the reasons why which the disease is spread okay yeah clear beta yeah clear 